you now using the extrude tool the extrude tool is located in here it's grouped together with the transparency envelope drop shadow blend and contour okay. so looking at these two objects here these two objects were extruded using the corel draw uh, extrude tool so I'm just going to let's say I'm going to create a polygon here let's say a star I'm gonna put a star here and uh, I normally start with a gray color let's make that gray like that okay so in order to do an extrude uh, effect you go to your extrude icon and then you click and drag like that and this X here is the vanishing point so you can move that like that okay. now in here in the property bar you would see these icons here and this ones are for the extrude okay e, the first icon here is the the extrude rotation if you click on that you can see the number three there that's just an example of the view but if you click and drag now you would see that it is rotating it's like a 3d object now that rotates okay. and then in here the second one is the color okay the color of this extrude object let's say I want to make it you know from gray to black so that's the one of course you can always change that color let's say I want to make it orange and let's say I want let's say, I'll say that's fine okay. and then in here in the bevels you can also change the bevels you click on bevels and if you click on use bevel this is the bevel okay. you can also increase the size of the bevel like that okay. there's lots of possibilities here in the extrude you can just uh, experiment on using that you can also uh, uh, use the extrude tool into text okay let's say for example here I'm gonna type in text and I'm going to extrude this one here I'm just gonna choose a, let's say I'm gonna choose this one okay. I'm going to color it gray for now and then I'll change it later on so click on your interactive contour tool sorry the interactive extrude tool I click and drag okay now in here you won't see it because the it's gray right so I'm going to change the color here okay so that's fine and if I click on this one here I can just change the And in here you still have the slider if you want to if you want the extrude to not not be too thick so you can just move that like that okay. you can also change the bevel click on use bevel and if you notice it's applying on the text so experiment on that and you could see all the possibilities that you can you can do to in using the extrude tool